Hello everybody, Mr. Flanders here. We are at day three for our social studies this week. Um, so all week long we have been learning about, we will continue to learn about what makes a good student and a good citizen. Well today we're going to talk about something that we need to be really careful about, especially right now, and that's sharing. Okay, sharing is such a good trait to have, okay? Um, but it doesn't really go over well right now unless we take the right precautions. So please check out the video in just a second, and uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Otherwise, I'll see you in just a minute. Bye. This is a good student. Hey, Mr. Flanders. Can I please borrow your marker? Of course. Hang on just one second, my dear. Sanitizer. Sanitize. There you go. Thank you. Bye. This is a bad student. Hey, I really need a marker right now. On it, Sen! All right, guys and gals. So you just saw me and Miss Onison uh, show an example of what what good sharing looks like and what not so good sharing looks like. And you know the the really difficult thing right now is as much as we all want to be together and as much as we want to share, we have to be careful. And you know that's why you you saw me in the video getting the sanitizer and sanitizing my hands and sanitizing the marker before I passed it off. We've got to be really careful when we are sharing things right now because we, want, we don't want to get anybody sick, right? So today's lesson is obviously about sharing. And as we are looking at this particular worksheet, there's two things that we'll notice that are missing before we can get started. There'll be our name and the date. So please join me as we write our name and the date on our paper. Mr. Flanders, and then the date 9 to 20. Okay, the 9 is for the month, which is September. The 2 is for the day. And the 20 is for the year, 2020. So, sharing and taking turns at school. Now, if you look at this picture, you'll see that all of these kiddos are sharing. And they're not just sharing the, the colored pencils here on the table. They're sharing their ideas. Okay, which is which is huge, okay, um, because what it's doing is, is it's allowing uh, everybody here to have their own ideas, their own thoughts, their their own piece of the the bigger picture here, while also helping build their friends' ideas and helping build their friends' creativity, okay. So, you know, this kiddo here. They're, they're adding to the world. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's a picture of the world there. And so is this kiddo. So they're working together to bring both of their ideas to life, but both of their ideas are part of a much larger idea. All right, And that's so cool because that means you can do so much more together. I mean, people are great on their own, but working together, you can get a lot more done. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and look at our two questions. Okay, our first question says, what are the students sharing? Okay, they are sharing snacks, they are sharing pencils, or they are sharing clothes. They are sharing snacks, pencils, clothes. What are they sharing? That's right, they are sharing colored pencils. So let's go ahead and circle B for pencils. Okay. And number two, how does sharing help the students create their art? So how does sharing help the students create their art? So like I was saying before, you know, you got this this kiddo here making part of the picture, and this kiddo over here making part of the picture, but both of their ideas are, are part of a much larger picture. So they're working together to, to basically make something that they, they couldn't do completely on their own. So how does sharing help the students create their art? They're able to make a bigger picture together. All right, And we can write that down. 
they can make a bigger picture together. That's exactly what they're doing right there. They can make a bigger picture together. Okay. Go ahead and take a second and finish copying that down. They can, which is a spelling word, make a bigger picture together. Now, before we really close out this lesson on sharing and whatnot, I would like you guys to use this space right here. I know it's not a big space, but you know it's, it should be big enough. I would like you to draw a picture of you sharing something with somebody else. It could be sharing a snack. It could be sharing colored pencils. It could be you sharing um, a toy, something like that. But draw the picture here. And then go ahead and make sure you show me or you tell me which part of the picture is you. So if you're over on this side, just write your name above your picture. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns with this activity, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get taken off, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Stay safe.